Ambassador Tukul Opsang. We're very honored to be able to do this interview with you. Mm -hmm. Buddhism is for Westerns um, still a bit exotic, mm -hmm. if, if you understand mm -hmm. what I mean. Mm -hmm. And you talked about Buddhist medicine. In what is Buddhist medicine different from Western medicine? I mean, first of all, Buddhism is not a religion. And second, Buddhism is not culture. Okay. Buddhism is the wisdom of the nature. Our belief, what we call chunin. Chunin means nature. That's our belief. Therefore, is Buddhism is wisdom of the nature. Means is very, very logic, very, very intelligent, and very, very logic, and very, very harmonious, mm -hmm. or very, very, very tolerant, very, very compassionate. Uh, I think, and that's make two Western people very much attract, uh, very interesting, mm -hmm. yes, uh, because mostly Westerns have some basic knowledge. You have a basic study, you have basic intellectual intelligence, and to understand of all these teachings. And secondly, in the in the Buddhism and the medicine, I mean, what is a little different than in the West? I'm sure basically many things same, but we believe cause of the disease inside, condition of the disease outside. This okay. means we call three conditions, uh, food and behavior and weather. And we call three cause, ignorance, attachment, anger. Therefore, cause is mind, condition outside. This become together in the, your body and it's, possibly, it's possible to your sick. Okay. Yes, I think that's his difference. That's that's the, the, the main difference. Okay, so um, you are what we what in Buddhism we call a lama, mm. which is a long study. I'm, I I guess you started when you was very young. Mm. Okay, mm. and I know that a, a lama before becoming a lama you need to pass some kind of exam. Mm. Can you tell us something about that? Uh, Lama is in the leader, I mean, they now have a one kind of a common explanation. Is Lama is, uh, uh, Lama is originally come from, if you translate Sanskrit, we call Guru. Okay. Guru. In maybe English we call Master. In the, in the Lama means secret your nature. Secret your nature. That means in, we don't call all of the teachers Lama. We don't call all of the teachers Master. Who we call Lama? We call somebody who teach your hidden nature. And this name we call Lama or Master or Guru, whatever. We are ignorant of our secret nature. What is the secret? Happiness. Happiness, everybody looking. Everybody looking happiness outside of ourselves. But happiness is hidden in, in we. Therefore, Lama is through of Lama teaching, through of Lama guide, and to help to discover in your hidden nature. Anybody introduce your hidden, hidden nature, anybody introduce you hidden nature, this name we call master or lama. Therefore, lama and master is nobody give you paper, say, oh, you are the, come to the lama. No, no. Is Lama is nobody give a paper, say, you are lama. I, I generally, we don't have a it's, it's It's a kind of uh, predestination? Yes. Predestination? Look like nobody possible give you a certificate to you are father. Okay. Until you become father. When you have child, you are become father. Yes. Exactly I same. Understand. Until you, when you have some student, and you are come lama. I see. Such kind of lama. I see. Okay, okay, very interesting. <laughs> now, now, your organization mm -hmm. is called Lu Yang. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, 
one specific kind of uh, practice within Buddhism? Or how should we see that? Mm. Uh, Buddhism, uh, we have uh, uh, Theravada Buddhism, mm -hmm. and Mahayana Buddhism, Tantrayana Buddhism. Uh, Tantrayana Buddhism is to, we say, through of the walk, through of the walk your body, and you receive the realization of your mind. Okay. The general Buddhism, through of the walk in your mind, or through of the practice your mind, and you have a realization of in your mind. But Tantrayana have extra method, we say. Not only through of a practice your mind, you have a realization in the mind, but through of the through of the practice of your body, and you know how to practice your body, and through the practice of the body, and you possibly have a realization of your mind. Therefore, in this kind of exercise, past the hidden exercises, we use these exercises not to just to keep to healthy, and we use to have a higher realizations. Okay. And therefore, uh, uh, therefore, this in this kind of exercises is more. Tantrayana or Vajrayana or uh, tradition of Buddhism. So is there, is there um, like, in the, like in the Mahayana and, and the uh, Theravada Buddhism, is there less meditation and more practice of the body? No, 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 it's the same. It's equal. Sa it's equal. Yeah. It's the, always one thing same in the Buddhism is our wisdom, and our, our goal is the same. Okay. What is a different method? Okay. Different method name we call Theravada, Mahayana, Tantrayana. It's because different people have a different method suitable. And therefore, we use different vehicles. We call different vehicle means in the different, uh, 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 what to say, Theravada, or Mahayana, Tantrayana. What mean is a different method. Maybe you like to method dance, or you like to method running, or you like method whatever. Therefore, it's a different method, and we have different vehicles. That's the reason Buddha said they have countless vehicles, because countless have a, people have countless wish. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So Lu Yong is. A, a method is a, it's a vehicle to attain enlightenment. Yes, you possible call this. Maybe it's uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of very uh, very uh, not easy to say yes because people who don't know all these theories kind of see these. I say in the Lujong exercise is the way to enlightenment, but maybe it's too much. But yes, the one of the method. Okay. Because through the Lujong exercise is to open your 72,000 channels. And when your channels open and the flow in all of your energies in your channels, and this, all of oxygens, let's we say, flowing in your body, and that's make your blood transform, and this blood start to uh, go in the brain, and the brain start opening, and then and the brain start producing some kind of chemical or some kind of hormone, and this start to go in your nerves. And this give you some kind of sensation of a bliss, and the bliss is the way to what to say make calm your mind. Okay. That means that is a method to have a higher concentration, concentration or single point state of mind method. So what we talk seventy two thousand channel is really physically exhaust. Okay. Conclusion really really physically exist, you possibly see. Not energetically. Not energetically. Physically. Physically okay. you see. Yeah. That's very clear. In the Western world, mindfulness uh, became very popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, almost everybody uh, is practicing mindfulness. Mm -hmm. I understood that uh, within your tradition, the approach to mindfulness is different. Can mm -hmm. you explain? Remember, originally, what we using in the West, the mindfulness, originally, the originally come from Buddhism. Mm -hmm. And before Western don't have any of this kind of things. This is clear. Uh, we know that. Uh, but in 
what they're really teaching in the West is not really mindfulness. But this is a preparation of mindfulness. Okay. Preparation of mindfulness. It's not really mindfulness. Interesting. Because you are practicing mindfulness, you need basic balance in your mind. Without you, ha without you don't have a basic balance in your mind, you know possible practice mindfulness. But what the Westerners practice in preparation of mindfulness, what is preparation of mindfulness is relaxation. Mm -hmm. We are relax our body, we are relax our breath, we are relax our mind. You know, when the relax is the preparation of mindfulness, but not really mindfulness. Okay. It's a preparation. And therefore, generally I say, yeah. therefore mostly Westerns and the name of a preparation of, of mindfulness, they're teaching mindfulness. Because mostly Western people is not really need, not really useful the really mindfulness. Why? Mostly Western people practice mindfulness have very little reason. Very little reason. Therefore, we never give this teachings. It's not useful. Mostly have very little reason. Why, what their reason? Why they practice mindfulness? Because of they have little stress, they have pain shoulders, they have headaches. You understand? Yeah. And then we teach in all this. I'm sure they have more headache. This people is not right people to teach all this, but you use this, the, the, the preparation of mindfulness is simple and just relaxation. Relaxation is the preparation of concentration. Concentration is the preparation of intelligence. Okay. You understand? Yes. yes. You want intelligence, you need concentration. Complete present mind and concentration. You want to this, you need relaxation. Therefore, first we learn relaxation. So first you say you need relaxation, then yeah. you need concentration. Yes. And concentration is a way to attain more or to have more intelligence. More intelligence. Okay. Because Buddhism, we believe we are suffering because we are not enough intelligent. I think Buddhism, Buddhism is right about that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we are intelligent, but we On are not... On a certain level. Yes. We yeah. are not enough intelligent. We are not enough intelligent, therefore Buddhism say source of the suffering is ignorance of the true nature. We are ignorance of the true nature and therefore we are suffering. Therefore, to need knowledge of the true nature and we need highest of intelligence. This name we call wisdom.